Hey, what's up, guys? Joe Carlo Dinamo here, and welcome to Pop Cultivation. So uh, basically, I know a lot of interesting people, um, interesting people who don't get a chance to share their story on a larger audience. That's why I started this podcast, so I can sit down with friends of mine and just, you know, chat and hear interesting stories about them, learn things I didn't know. So sit back and enjoy the show. Hey there, Gene Carlo, David Marquez here, coming to you from a not so sunny Los Angeles. Uh, I seem to have uh, misplaced my key, so I'm locked outside of my place and my car. So, uh, just wanted to wish you a happy anniversary, happy 100th, and thank you very much for being a friend and confidant uh, through this time together. So, once again, happy anniversary. Hey, Jean Carlo. I'm upside down on a couch with hockey playing in the background. 100 episodes. Congratulations! Yay! This is Cole Cabana, in case it's hard to tell. Hey, um, me and Max just wanted to say congrats on 100 episodes. It's really awesome, man. I'm just stoked, stoked to see where it keeps going and what you do next. And you've got to have me on the show again soon. Me and Max can call with you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Love you. Have a good one. Peace. And you made it to episode 100. I didn't even think you could count that high. So I guess you're doing something right, and I'm looking forward to seeing you for Nam Burn episode three. John Carlo, happy 100. Here's to a thousand more from the good doctor, Dr. Callahan. Hey, happy 100th episode. Finally, a reason to get out of bed. The show keeps getting better and better. Glad I was able to be a part of it this year. Congrats, buddy. 100 episodes. Congratulations. Hola, I'm Carlo. Felicitaciones en tu celebración de 100 episodios de Pop Cultivation. Giancarlo, congratulations on your 100th episode. Hey John Carlo, it's John Luca. Just wanted to wish you a very happy 100th anniversary episode of Pop Ghost Edition. Yeah, man, it's been great. I know I remember when I was on one of the first Pop Cultivation episodes. Hope you have a good time. I'm gonna get back to mixing the show. See you later. Congratulations on your 100th episode of your podcast. I love the work you do. John Carlo, happy anniversary, man. 100th the big milestone. You did it. Let's see another 100. Hey, John Carlo, congratulations on episode 100 of the Pop Corporation. I was so stoked to be a part of one of these episodes, and I just wanted to wish you the best. 100 podcast, I think that's, that's pretty awesome. Congratulations on your 100 episode and podcast, huh? What's up, Pop Cult World? I just want to say congratulations to you, John Carlo, for getting to 100 episodes. It's been an awesome run. I'd love to be there to co-host with you, but as you can see, I'm just a little bit far from New Jersey. And I have a feeling I'll be seeing you out here soon. Welcome to Pop Cultivation, a weekly podcast where I sit down and talk with the interesting people in my life.
All right, let's do this for the hundredth time, all right? Yeah. No? Yeah? yeah? No? No? Okay. All right. So I surrounded, I surrounded myself tonight with like a ton of people who've been on this podcast before. And um, like this is exactly how I pictured it. Like I wanted to do it somewhere, but like, I don't know, what's better than like a living room, right? Like it's like you're the place, like your home, right? I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm not nervous. Um, all right, I'm a little nervous, but like, don't be nervous. I have surrounded myself with the greatest, well, as I like to say, the most interest, interesting people that I know. So thank you guys. That's 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 yeah. that's why I'm here, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Basically, I figured there is like no better way to kick this off though. This podcast this episode then to um, kind of explain why I started doing this podcast. And um, I can't do that alone. I, I, can't, I can't explain that, you know, by myself. So I'm going to show you uh, a quick video that you've probably seen before. And then um, I'm going to introduce you to two people. Pizza, hot pizza, only bones and believe it's real and it's time for 10 now that's the sick meal I feel like I should be in trouble cause I feel like I sealed because I got a great deal buy one for you and share it with your neighbor get himself crust and do him a favor pepperoni meatball peppers and onions actually just make it everything and throw it all on top cause I'll be there cause I'll be there to pick it all up I'll be there I'll be there I'll be there to pick it all up I love pizza Ladies and gentlemen, um, out of this, uh, I've, I composed a, a documentary with a few other people, and we tried to save the world. And quite frankly, I thought we did. A few other people didn't think so, but I'd like to introduce you to someone. His name is Spider Tan. And... He's the guys, he's just the sidekick, ladies and gentlemen. From just another planet. Not too far from here. This is Zack Man. Alright guys, so basically, um uh, I don't know. I don't know how to put this. I mean, we explained this a million times. Basically, um, we, we put this we put this thing online, and a lot of people a lot of people got upset about it. But I just want to say thank you. Um, it did end up creating this podcast, and I I think I did something right. I think it was the right thing to do. A hundred episodes came from it, so right something went right. Right. What do you think? I mean, you, you can take that off your head now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I like it. Well, you had all the right. Intentions. I mean, if yeah. you took it the wrong way, and you know, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really matter. But it's cool. I, like, like I said, I think, I think we, I think we did our part, right? We yeah, did our part dude, to save the a, world, that right? That was really fun. And even at the end of the day, yeah. we had a lot of fun, and we did a good thing. Okay, good. Right? Yeah. God, what's wrong with these people on the internet? So uh, here with me, I have <laughs> Zach Garb, and I have uh, Dave Tannis. People that probably, you know, if you've listened to this podcast before, you know who they are, right? <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah, yes. yeah. Yes. I call I call Dave Tannis every once in a while my sidekick, uh, right? Com yeah, c comedy, comedy <laughs> sidekick. Yeah, my right hand man. Well, yeah. I mean, you, you call me your sidekick, but you know, only when I want to be. Okay. Sidekick. All right. All right. All right. So, um, but you've been on this podcast before. Anything memorable to you? Anything powerful? I mean, everything's been great. You're just a spider. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zach, um, I, I counted down this week uh, the top 10 episodes. And Damn. when I got to number one, 
I, I, I had to pick. I had to pick ours. I couldn't believe it, man. I, I was really honored. I was like, oh, I was like, oh my god, I, I didn't get in the top ten. That kind of hurts. But then I was number one. I was like, <laughs> I, honestly, I've listened to a lot of them, and it's funny, yeah. like being here, like meeting some of you guys, like putting like faces to the voices. Yeah, it's cool, you know. It's funny, like a lot of people that walked in, it was like, like they would say hi, and I've heard people saying that. And a lot of things I heard also were like. Oh hi, and then it was like, no, I've met you before. It's yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I know you. <laughs> like you, you know, you listen to a lot of these episodes, but I listen to our episode a lot. Like I think I told you that before. Like I have listened to it multiple times. Yeah, well. yeah. So I just want to say thank you that. for uh, for doing that with me. Thank you for having me. Uh, this podcast, yeah. like doing a podcast, like you know, you get to open up. You know, a lot mm. of people open up to you, and it's kind of therapeutic in a way. Yeah. You At think least so? uh, I mean, our episode was. It was great to yeah. you know talk yeah. about our friend like that. So. Yeah. What about, what, do you, what did you get, Dave? I don't know. What was the most memorable episode you think for uh, that I was on anyway? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, I can't remember. Um, so yeah, I figured you could fill me in. So uh, uh, another guy is here, uh, Bruce Bernardo, and um, he's actually sitting right over there. No, Bruce. <laughs> Bruce, hey. Bruce. Hey. Um, so Bruce is here. Um, basically, um, th- that episode we did at Bruce's house. I know. At his that church. was pretty memorable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What happened? <laughs> I just asked him when I got here. I said, uh, "How's your church?" And he said, "I have actually I have more than I have three churches, and I believe them." Yeah. He, but he was just, he was just kidding. It was just a joke. Hmm. I believe because if he has one, I mean maybe he has more yeah. than one. I was collecting them. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you for doing this. Thank you for dressing up. I, I don't know. That's... Dude, it's really hot in this cup. Is it? <laughs> I have my jeans and everything on underneath it, so that was probably a bad idea. But Tannis actually went it's commando. It's off for the show. That's the, that, <laughs> he's about to you say might, that. You might want to okay. wash yeah. that suit a few yeah. times. I was wondering. I was hoping. I Wait, could suit? I, I'm pretty sure that's the. He's the Black Spider Man, so that's not a suit. That's a. It's a symbiote, bro. <laughs> you can see Tan's been working out too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. I was going to order Pizza Hut tonight, yeah, <laughs> but I didn't. You know what's fun? On the way here, Tan and I, yeah. it was so, there was a Domino's car in front of us. I'm like, how funny would that be <laughs> if that car, if, it's, if that stops at John Carlos' house, so I'm going to die. Yeah. But then it kept going. But we thought you'd maybe order Domino's to spite those Pizza Hut bastards, you know? No, I just want to put it to bed right now. There's no rivalry. There's no bastards. All right, all right. Yeah. For me, there is, but yeah. okay. We were you never cool. Won. We, we all were know ne- you should have won. Yeah, it's all right. We just it's watched okay. that video. It was amazing. It's a, it was good, right? It was amazing. All right. That's that's why I brought you out here. That's all. I, that's why, yeah. yeah. Exactly. All right. Don't you still have $100 in Pizza Hut gift cards? Yeah, I do, actually. We're so, going back. We're going back. We have to go back. Say it. To 10 to, City. Yeah. We're going back to 10 City? We're going back. Dude, well, we gotta, they need us. 2015, man. we're going to do a sequel to this documentary. I don't care. I just don't care. I don't care about. I don't care what they're going to say. Does it even still exist? Yeah. Yeah, it's it out does. there. I... Yeah. We have a question from the crowd. Can we can get on the mic? We still have that pizza that you gave them. <laughs> hey, Zach, you want to talk about that when the woman took uh, like that was one of my favorite parts of the whole trip. So we're there. We're talking. You know, we're we're unloading all the pizza from from the car. Yeah. And um, you know, people, everyone's doing like you know, they're clearing out tables, doing stuff. Mm-hmm. And this one woman, she sneaks up out of nowhere. And, you know, she's casually talking. I was like, "Oh, you making a movie out there, ain't you?" And we're like, <laughs> "We're like, yeah, yeah, we are." And then like as she's talking, she's like, "Oh, that's cool," but she's just slowly like stealing pizzas and like putting them in a bag and taking them away. She probably took about seven. She's like, "All right, nice to meet you. <laughs> Goodbye." And then, and then, but that 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 was pretty funny. Yeah. That was one of a lot of funny things that happened that day. I yeah. Mean, what about, when we drove out of there, and uh, you know. Wait, and they were just like, "Yeah, just drop down this road right down here." It was and like we were a like, three foot and drop into the road. <laughs> <laughs> it was. We were literally off roading in in the car, and like it. It was Tannis's van. Yeah. What's the name of it? Um, I, I think you the came up van. with the name. The Tan Van. <laughs> Duh. Um, right, Rob. I, just, I would say Vanis. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> I like the Vanis. <laughs> um, basically, um, yeah, it was uh, it was like a off roading adventure. If you ever want to, like, did your van get fucked up from that or? No, it's fine, dude. It's a van. Okay, know. all right. If you ever want some, if you ever want some adventure on the weekend, you should go check out Tents. I don't think it even exists anymore. I maybe should have Googled that before we did this episode, but. 
Well, something happened okay. to the guy. The uh, yeah, the they like he, kicked him out like a ton of times. It was name but, Steve. Yeah, he, he went yeah. a little nuts, didn't he? Probably. Uh, well, he was passionate. You're, when you're dealing with all those yeah. tents, something's bound to happen. <laughs> um, but like I said, like it was definitely um, like it was a terrible thing what happened. But like with Reddit, I guess that's what I'm kind of getting at. But also, it was like probably one of the greatest things that ever happened to me because it was like kind of like like ton of people just like shitting on something and like I think I watched too many wrestling DVDs like where it's like yeah Triple H he started his career in this and I kind of like made it too much about myself that's what I'm getting at with this documentary um and uh but either way um it was like I said it was a good thing when that happened and it it brought me here to 100 episodes right amen brother there we go. amen Congratulations, my there friend. There we go. My mom just handed me her, her uh, phone. I, I don't know how to use it because it's an LG phone, but um, <laughs> they're moving to temporary housing. Ladies and gentlemen, Tent City is no longer, but they, know, they have temporary yeah, housing. Is that good? I guess it's good. I, I yeah, really, right. Like I said, I should have maybe had like an update and said, like, oh, it's this, but it's, you know. They saved a lot of money on pizza. <laughs> exactly. Do you think that was that was their church right there? That um, was pretty cool. Listen, it was own. it was a better documentary than the kids a year later who went and did the same thing. So did they? you know, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, Imagine. <laughs> no, no. We would have to go right. beat them up. Do so, you, do you think the people that created Ten City would have ever thought that this would come of Ten City? A hundred episodes. Yeah. I don't know. You man. know, they tune into every. They gather around the campfire. Oh, yeah. Tune into every episode. Hey. The they just, up, up, they just <laughs> updated the RSS We're making feed. a movie now. I'm going to download it right now. Yeah. That was the best part of the whole thing. What? The guy who played the piano at the end. The, the jam yes. session? Yeah. That was very cool. Hey, come here and jam with me. <laughs> Don't mind all these meth cans. <laughs> 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 oh, no, they were great. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. All right. So, I just want to say... Thank you again. That's it. And thank um, you, man. You guys are you guys are you guys are two of my best friends. You're my hometown boys, I guess. Absolutely. And um, there's other people in this movie, but they they moved yeah. to, to California. There's another and, superhero um, somewhere around yeah. here, I think. Yeah. I don't know where he is. Yeah. Um, but anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I just uh, yeah, but so I had to have you two here, so it's not everybody. It's not the full circle, but it's well, a good. Thank it's a good, you for good letting me be a part of pop cultivation. I hope you know I'm invited back to do some more. It's always a fun experience, and thank you, Dan. Thank look you, forward to a hundred more episodes. Hundred more. Let's do it. All right. Thank you, guys, <gasps> ladies thank and gentlemen. You. David Tannis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Spider Tan. <laughs> and yeah. Zach Man. Thank you. Hi there, it's me. If you don't know by now, you should know who I am. Um, congratulations on your 100th episode, um, which I'm glad I was able to inspire you to do the 100th episode or even have 100 episodes and something to talk about. Um, but then again, I think I was actually on maybe 98 of them. So good luck. And you're getting to see me in a way you've never seen me before because I just got out of the shower and um, I just wanted to wish you luck because I'm clean now um, and I'm not wearing any underwear at all right now. No, seriously, I'm not. I'm just kidding. I'm not. All right, so that guy right there was a, a guy who's been on this podcast. As he's mentioned, it was a joke. He said that he's been on this podcast a lot. Um, yes, there, there has been a few repeat guests. Um, a few people here have been on the podcast a few times. Bruce, Paul, Kyle, Rob Guzio even had the opportunity to even host this podcast a few times, right? I'm the only surrogate host. You, you are, yeah. Nice. Yeah, and you did a great job. Thanks. And thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Um, but I feel like there's like been a lot of characters that have been built out of this podcast. And um, I want to introduce somebody actually right now. I want to have them come up here and I want to talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I don't think they know it completely. 
They know it. Okay, never mind. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to somebody who's really, who's made this show amazing. And um, she's, she's right here. This is, uh, this is Regina. If you can come up and, and sit with me and talk to me. So, joining me right now is um, Regina, the psychic. Here we go. <laughs> put me on. Go ahead, put me under pressure. I'm not putting you into pressure. you got to talk into the mic, though. Okay, here we go. Usually, um, I have a mic stand for you, and I would never have a mic stand for anyone else. Mm -hmm. Usually, there's So, a, what happened tonight? Please don't make it a mistake that I didn't right. pull out the mic stand. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a slow learner, remember? So, what's up? No. <laughs> You know what? Congratulations, Jake. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I just want to say, you know, thank you for coming on here. Thank you for t coming on here and talking personally with me. And um, you've made, like, a ton of amazing memories. You had a best of episode. I know. <laughs> like, I know. Could you imagine me? <laughs> I, like, tied together a bunch of times that you've been on here. Um, we had Bruce call you and Prank call you. I know. But telling I, you that you were Facebook I, and that I your Facebook was full and you needed to buy more storage. I knew. Wait a minute. Listen. He told her that she was taking pictures in the car and it was a safety hazard. You, if you want to get somebody going, yeah. if you want to call, well, I don't want to be ethnic, but an Italian mother, talk about her kids because that's how you would have got me. Remember yeah. I told you that? Yeah. I kind of knew because I was on my way out. I was busy and I just was not in the mood for the phone. I was like, look, I got to go. And then I, I knew. I was, was like, no. It was you that was calling me? No, it wasn't. <laughs> It was Edgar. Sure, it was no, someone else. Some, what was his name from Facebook? My girlfriend goes, gee, Facebook doesn't call you. Yeah, that guy's you. a creep. Yeah. And I was really on my way out. And when I, if, I'm, if I'm focused on something, I don't care who you are. Mm. I'm hanging the phone up. I'm not going there. <laughs> so it didn't matter. But what you should have done if you wanted to punk me, yeah. you should have talked bad about my kids. Uh -oh. And I would have went off. And the mouth, they would have probably, they would probably was. Does anybody want to punk her really quick? Like just talk no, about no, her no, kids or something? Do, or do you outside. want somebody to do that? No, oh, not okay. at all. I'm all right, saying to you that if you want to really get me, but you know, that's what you do. You talk, right? And well, is there any moms here besides me and your mom? You <laughs> talk about their kids, am I right? That's right. That's right. And we'll go off, so. Yeah. But I, I knew. But it was cool, though. I was, I was okay with it. Yeah. You wanted me to say the F word a lot. Something. No, I was no. There. I was dressed going out. I was having good. I was like, ah, how are we tonight? <laughs> I didn't give a shit. I didn't care. I didn't. Why did you answer four times? <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's another thing, too. That's yeah. me. It's like my <laughs> who, who continues to pick up a prank <laughs> phone call? That's it. Like, uh, well, uh, you know, I'm going to get them. I'm just going to keep <laughs> answering it. It doesn't matter. I don't know. It didn't because that's me. My, my, <laughs> oh, man. Me. My phone is my heart. It's, it's so yeah. wise. So I was being rude, but I wasn't. Yeah. Uh, another thing is, like, I, I notice a lot of people here, they're wearing, like, hoodies and stuff like that. Why are you so dressed up tonight? Oh, you know what? See, I'm not going <laughs> to right. I'll get up, and I will leave. I swear to God. He told me, listen, this is what he said. He goes, Regine, you got to dress to the nines. I said, I'm telling you right now. If I'm the only one dressed, I swear I'll get my coat and my bag. I will frigging leave. No car or not. I will get a ride home from Bergen County. He's like, no, I probably said, you I said, are you sure you're going to be dressed? And it's, it's all good, right? Um, hey, at least I didn't do wait, <laughs> yeah. wait, 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 wait. Everybody, you know what? You have what I have. People listen to us. Yeah. We tell them to move right. They listen. Is that That's true? That's a gift. Yeah. Yes, it is. How? Who else is going to put a Spider-Man and freaking Batman and the other Zap on? <laughs> and listen, think about it. Think about yeah. it, right? Am I right? We have, that's, that's a gift that we have. I can make people sit and pose anywhere and they'll listen. That's a gift that you have. That's a good thing. Thank you. Because I wouldn't put one of those suits on. You know I wouldn't. Uh, so yeah. what? I'm dressed, so I can go out. I have to admit, though, I think you're the best dressed here tonight. Oh, thank you. I look like a hooker. I can go in Newark yeah. and go on freaking McCarter Highway. Yeah, say it. <laughs> Nikki Newark. Nikki Newark. No, everybody thinks I'm from Brooklyn. I have yeah. a creeper on my Facebook. Yeah, what's his he name? Out him. Out him. I'm not from Brooklyn. I'm from freaking Newark. I swear to God, I didn't change it. My girlfriend's going, gee, they said, said you live in Brooklyn. I said, no, I don't live in fucking Brooklyn. No, I'm not kidding. Somebody changed it. I'm from Newark, Newark, New Jersey. No, 
All right, so come on, Jay, let's start. You did which one? <laughs> Martin or University? You know, they teach the kids how to do, you know, drill teeth and stuff like that. Oh, down at, at the DMJ. dental, Univer UMD, yeah. DMJ, yes. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Listen, like, I hope I never have to go to a no, hospital in Newark. Wanna. No, let me tell yeah. you something. University, if they have to medivac you, you're in good hands down there. Trust me. Right. These people get shot at fucking, I think it's oh, that's four, true. four yeah. times yeah. every okay. five minutes. You're, that makes you're sense. You're going to be saved there. You yeah. go to one of these other isolated places, you're a goner. Yeah. I, can, I don't know how to do a bullet <laughs> hole. I can tell you, I'm drinking wine, G. Don't let me drink after this. I gotta go home. <sighs> All right. So, go ahead. Come on, talk. I want to stay on now. Because now you got me going. And All right. You just want to, let's just do the rest of the show. Just me and you. All right. Okay, let's do it. Fuck those other people. Oh, it doesn't matter, everybody. right? Look, here's the yeah. door. Don't let it hit your ears when you leave. No. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right, no, really. So, come on, you're, you're supposed to be the freaking guy in charge. You, you kind of took it away from me, no, though, I, so keep going. So, I, no, I want to thank you for inviting me on each, each yeah. time. Yeah. I'm pretty comfortable. Like, right now, like, these are all, like, blur right now. Like, it's okay, though. And I'm probably making, I know, like, a Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican chick tonight. And I'm, the, <laughs> wine, the wine is kicking in. It is. Yeah. I can't drink no more. <laughs> Two beers in a shot. And yeah. Fucking She's cut off. <laughs> no, I can't. But no, I want to thank you, G. I always yeah. had fun. People, some people, can I be honest? Some people say, "What do you do in show of?" Or just because, whether it be negativity or are you getting paid? You know what I say? I yeah. said, "Look, mind your say? fucking business." If I want to do a show, and he's like my third son, and I consider, I swear to God, I mean that. You know that. And if I want to do something, it's nobody's. It's not for them to say what I'm supposed to do. Of course, yeah. You, you got what I'm saying? In exactly. a bigger picture here? Yeah. But thank you for inviting me. I always have fun. Of course. I'm always either drunk And there's been a few times... Really? Well, the beers. You can be drunk at your, your father's all the time. Yeah. I get drunk off of beer. I can drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm drinking wine now. So there's been a few times... Where you've um, actually, um, you've worked as like my agent for this show. And yes, I do. I, I do. I get me. you. I, I'm a good catalyst. I yeah. am. I'm a great when I. But for you and everybody else, not me. Yeah. I have to learn how to do it for me. Let me tell you something. If we're at a st concert, let's say for example, somebody famous, and you needed a picture, I'd be the one that you should call on. I will get that. Yeah. Yes, I will. Not okay. For me, listen though. to this. Okay. It's the truth. All right. And I've gotten you some great interviews, but you don't go and post it on Facebook, which I'm pissed off about. I post it on Facebook. And nobody gives a shit about Regina. That ain't right. <laughs> so I'll call him straight, like, what did they used to call me? Straight shooter. Yeah. No, I love John Carlo. He's like my son, my third son, really. <laughs> he's arrogant, but he's good. I Why am him. I the third one? Right? I'm arrogant? Yes, you are. Are you we're, reading me right now? I'm arrogant, too. But we're good people. We wouldn't hurt anybody. Sure. <laughs> Listen to that. I would never hurt any of you. No, a little wouldn't. arrogant though. Okay. Watch your mother beat the shit out of me when I go inside. <laughs> 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 Talking about my son like that, right? And what? you're gonna kick my ass when I go inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I got competition. No, oh, all right. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. No, I love what? you. You know that. It's gonna be kinky. Let's get the cameras going. No, let's let's. Oh let's come on. Nice now. That's John Carlos' mother. That's <laughs> right. And I'm somebody's mother, so let's behave and show some respect. Right. Listen, you want to get me really fired up to talk about my mother's. Hey, there you go. There you go. Turn it around. Yeah. You want to really mess stop. with somebody? <laughs> All right. So your hands hurting from holding the mic. So. No, it's a. You know what? Leave me alone. Can, can we get the mic? St no. All right. No, it's okay. I think they had enough of me, right? All right. Tell the truth. No. 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 All right. Well, talk, you talk. I I want to see if how good I am. Come on. I'm I just want to see if that tiara is going to fall out of your hair. Like, yeah, I, if it I, does, like, <laughs> why? Wait, wait, wait. Look. There it is. Um, um, what's her name? What's the Spanish lady's name? Shakira? You remember? No. Remember from years Rosie ago? Perez. No, that real pretty one, the real voluptuous lady. Remember back in the day, the blonde? Charo. Charo. I feel like her with her friggin' hair. Look. It's like, ooh, Bobby. No. Gucci, 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 Gucci. Yeah, that's right. No, wait, wait. What's one of the, the most memorable moments, seriously, when I've been on? What's one of the best ones? Not, not best. I don't want to say. I take that back. Um, there was a show we did. The first one. Which one was that? Episode with? 10. Go ahead. I called it Regina. Go ahead. It was with that kid. Okay. And? That, that kid's very quiet. And? 
Um, See, I don't remember. Wait, this is true now. Hear me out. This is how fucked up I am. <laughs> I do not remember doing a show with him. When he came tonight, I kissed him hello. I introduced myself. I swear to God, I'm, I'm, it's not against you. It's the truth. I do not remember. It's head injury. It was a very long time it's ago. Okay. Really? How long? <laughs> Watch this. I'll knock him right out. What is it? Two years? Yeah. It's been, yeah. It's been a little I really bit longer than two like years. I yeah. do, but I don't. What were we talking? What was the content? Maybe I'll remember. Batman. <laughs> um, he, so, he wasn't dressed as Batman. Oh. See, that's the key. The, Gee, the show really was, it was us in my, in my dad's living room. And we streamed it online. It was the first time I ever did that. Was what's her name there? Uh, no, Yoga Girl. No, Yoga Girl. No, nobody with no. Eric was there. Eric, and right. what's her name? The real pretty one that does yoga with the one with the tans. <laughs> Naomi. 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 Was she there? She was not. Yogurt. No. How come I don't remember? I swear to God, I swear to my children, I don't remember. Is with Isaiah? Well, oh, okay. Now I got it. Yeah, he was with Isaiah. Yep. I remember now. And yes. Eric Martens. Yes, I remember. Yeah, I All right. That show live at my house. Oh, did you? You were the person. Okay, you were the person listening. You All were right. the one. Wait, because the other one with Naomi, you guys were messing around on the couch <laughs> doing yoga, and I filmed yeah. just and I have video. Have you two ever messed around? Why don't you mind your fucking <laughs> business now? Now you're going. Out. Okay. All right. Let me ask you. Let me put you yeah. on the line now. Have All you right. ever messed around with anybody sitting here right now? Oh <laughs> um, no! You just go. All right, well, whatever, whatever makes. Aren't you, you a happy. psychic? You know what, G? I could pinpoint right now. I don't want to do that to you. Okay. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, my personal psychic, Regina Santarella. Thank you. Thank you. Hi hey guys. Um, are you guys ready for another message? <laughs> Here we go. Hey, Internet. How are you guys? So, I'm here to tell you about the 100th episode of my buddy Giancarlo Didimo, his uh, podcast called Pop Cultivation. It's going to do his 100th episode. If you haven't heard me say that already, so now you have heard me say it twice, so I should have to say it a third time, but I will. So it's a hundred episode of Hop Cultivation. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. So, um, should be a good time. Uh, I have a, a pretty good hunch. A lot of uh, old friends will come by. Probably some new ones. You never know unless you listen. Um, yeah, so you should go listen to that. It, it, it's in the Apple um, store. And you go to podcasts. And then you go to Pop cultivation, you write that in with the keyboard, click, 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 or you um, can also listen to it on Stitcher, that's an app for streaming podcast. So don't be that guy or girl, you don't want to discriminate. Don't, don't be them, okay? And uh, go, go, go listen to it, because you know what? Probably gonna be a really good time. Mm. I can I can almost guarantee there's gonna be so many high fives given during the episode by people in the episode, people who know about the episode. Look, the point is there will be a lot of high fives. So if you want a high five, it won't guarantee that you'll get one whilst listening to it, but you will get a high five soon before or after or hey, if you're lucky, during the episode. You gotta have five. If not, somebody else will do it with you eventually and high five you for putting it on. Look, the point is, there will be a high five coming your way. Enjoy. <laughs> so, joining me right now are two people who, um, I guess, are kind of like. Human? <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Um, big deals with the show, I guess. Um, yeah. yeah, pretty big. Uh, we have we have Rob Guzio who actually hey. hosted this podcast, <laughs> changed the name of it to Pop Cultivation with Rob Guzio. Oh, I did. Yeah. yeah. Oh. What well. was it before? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It would have been weird if I was like Pop Cultivation with Giancarlo Didimo with yeah. Rob Guzio. <laughs> 
lengthy. Uh, <laughs> and then we have Victoria, who I probably had like the most personal episode with. Yeah. Um, Very intimate. And uh, like, I counted down this this week um, the top ten episodes, and you came in at number two. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I like I said I said you know it was the first time that this show like opened up and it became like something a little bit different mm-hmm. and um, I just want to like thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah. That was cool. <laughs> and um, you know we talked about like like what <laughs> sad things and yeah it got real. We talked about our emotions. Okay. And yeah. Our, uh, yeah. Depression and anxiety. Sure. Yeah. 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 And then a lot of people got back to us and were like, thanks. Yeah, it was like a... It was a a big deal. Yeah, I've heard people, like, even now, like, they're like, you have to listen to this. Like, here, like, you should listen to that one. Like, it's like a pill or something like that. come over, let's talk. I was like, all right. (laughs) And then it was, like, kind of exploded. I thought you reached out to me. No. Really? Do you feel like, all right, okay. Was was it... (laughs) Was it one of those things where you didn't you, so you didn't expect to talk about anything serious and then it just kind of like I didn't I knew we were going to talk about it but like with Giancarlo like yeah. you never really know how things are going to go because that's okay. Okay. <laughs> that is true that is because uh, I that uh, somebody else said that earlier that you know they felt like they could open up to you and yeah. that uh, the podcast brought out things that they normally wouldn't have wanted to talk about yeah in in other circumstances well I feel like this was like the time where I opened up and I yeah. said stuff yeah. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You were kind of like the host there. Oh, you're welcome. So, these are like two people <laughs> that became the host. Yeah, we Wow. Did it. There you go. Host five. Take over. Host high five. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Congratulations on everything. Thank yeah. you. I'm proud of you. Thank you. you. Yeah. You guys having a fun time? Are you, are you comfortable in my living room and whatnot? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right yeah. at home. It's a beautiful room. Do you think this room. was the right place to do it? Definitely. Yeah. yeah, right? It was. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. All right. Yeah. So. So, how are you? I'm all right. Yeah. Having fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You look good tonight. Thank you. I think this was the right decision. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't look like too much like a waiter, right? <laughs> Hi. It's, no. I'm Jared. Welcome to Macaroni Grill. <laughs> do you have one of those like little sliver things where you clear off the table and you do that little... <laughs> <laughs> those are my favorite. Those are so cool. I feel like I want one. I don't know what you're talking like about. You don't know that <laughs> no. thing? You know like the a, metal thing? They clean like up the crumbs? Right. No. A crummer? Is that what it's really called? There you go. Thanks, Bruce. Maybe that's the title of this episode. Crummer. <laughs> don't, don't use that title. That's a terrible, terrible <laughs> title. Hi, guys. We're Crummer. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. I like that. It's good. <laughs> that works. <gasps> it's like double bass. You kind of look like a man in black. But after you get home and you're just kind of like, ugh, long day hunting all these aliens. Would I be G? Untuck my shirt. Would I be G? Yes. You would. Nice one. Yeah. Nailed it. Nailed it. (laughs) How are you? Good. Yeah. 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 Good. (laughs) (laughs) Come on. 100? You got to bring it. Am I gonna bring it? You gotta bring uh, the tough questions. Yeah. Right. Yo, what's up, man? I'm Aaron. <laughs> oh, I don't know if we have met more than seventy times. <laughs> so, so that, that, um, do you want to explain that 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 story really quick? Yeah, we've met multiple times, and every time we meet, it's the first time. Victoria, have you ever <laughs> to, met Tannis to, before? Today, no. Like no. But now well, we this have. might really be the first time. <laughs> yeah, he won't remember you. Now. Okay. Maybe he will. Maybe it's just me. Like, for some reason, I just can't remember. Like every time I see him, like I know you, but I can't remember the name. Ah, uh, I just have one of those unremarkable faces. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Let's give it up. Let's give it up for Rob Guzio and the lovely Victoria Matthews. Thank you. Shout out to John Carlo and his podcast, man. I'm hearing you doing a hundredth anniversary, man. So excited to hear that, buddy. You are awesome. I can't wait to hear it from tonight, man. Go do your thing, buddy. It's awesome to hear from you, man. And also, if you guys not on the podcast, get on it. It's one of the best things I ever heard. It's one of the coolest 
stations you guys going to hear, man. And I'm so happy he's on the grow, man. You deserve everything you have, John Carlo. You are the man. What is up, man? We're going to be talking soon. I'm one of the original guys who did the landlord presentation on there. So I'm just here right now, working right now. But I'll let you know, John Carlo, man. Awesome podcast, buddy. I'm proud of you, man. Keep it up. You got some good stuff running, man. I'll talk to you soon, man. Be good. See you later, buddy. Bye. Hi. Why are you wearing that Batman costume? Mario Bocara. This is to John Carlo. This is Mario Bocara. And I want to show you this too. This is very nice. I love this. This is this is nice t-shirt, huh? People think this is me, but this is not me. This is for you. Ah, I want to say this to you. Congratulations on your 100 episode of podcast. Huh? You live in your dream. You follow the dreams. Good for you. And thank you for all the support and everything that you do. And guess what? Mario Bocca, you're gonna make a bone saw stop out one more time on December 20th, huh? You plug me, I plug you, alright? Yeah, that, that was actually that was a professional wrestler right there that you saw. Professional wrestling has been a topic that's been uh, that's come on the show. I try not to make it about professional wrestling because I know that's not everybody's cup of tea. I, I hope that you find this next segment interesting because it was it's kind of like a social experiment that um, that I myself and like three other guys have uh, have been doing for the past almost a year. And um, we want to talk to you about that. And I want to talk to you how I'm, how like I'm friends with these guys and how this brought us together, and also kind of like how this podcast kind of brought us together as friends. So uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Lou Maldarelli and Dave Weinbreck up. I'm grounded enough. I don't know. I don't know. I, cause I really, it feels like we're kind we of like wrestling. We're the least grounded people here. Okay. Yeah. It's a group of people who come together for a single cause, <laughs> and <laughs> and we've united under a banner. Yeah. Known as the Busaw Movement. Okay. All right. So basically, um, in, in wrestling, there's somebody called like a, a heel, and there's somebody called a face. A heel would be the the bad guy, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And the the face would be the good guy, or the baby face they would call yes. it. And basically, um, like the heel cheats, and the and the face, you know, doesn't. doesn't. And a lot of times, you know, two guys go out there, and you don't know who's who, but you can look at them and be like, that's obviously a. He's clearly the good guy. He's the guy we should cheer, and that guy is clearly the guy we shouldn't. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, so, bone saw. Yeah, bone saw. Okay, that's who we're going to talk about. So, yeah. who here reads comic books? Don't all jump at once. No. Okay. So, in the first Spider-Man film, the one with Tobey Maguire, in, in right. a comic book written in the forties. Yeah. So oh, but, that's when he was in it. Yeah. yeah oh, I didn't know that. I thought they. I thought they made him in the. Okay. Go ahead. No, no, he's from the. Com- yeah, I don't even he's know. He's from all the right. comic books, but in the movie with Tobey Maguire. Sure. Uh, the origin of Spider-Man is he gets his powers and then to raise some money to buy a car or whatever the hell he was doing, he entered a professional wrestling match against this character named Bonesaw. Yeah, Bonesaw McGraw, I think is his actual Bonesaw name. Bonesaw McGraw. Wow. Yeah. And in the comics, he ends up beating up Bonesaw and then what happens is the promoter refuses to pay him his money and so Spider-Man's pissed and he leaves and while this is happening, the promoter gets stuck up He's robbed, and Spider-Man lets the guy go. And then it turns out that that guy is actually the guy who kills Spider-Man's uncle, which makes Spider-Man become a superhero. 
So, so uh, there's this wrestling promotion in Rahway, New Jersey. <laughs> Pro uh, Wrestling Syndicate. Now, Pro, mind you, yeah. we don't work for them at all. No, right? no, no. So okay. we can badmouth them all we want. Yes. Well, uh, well they yeah. may see this. Someone may see this. <laughs> um, but in this promotion, they like to take characters from television and movie and comic books and give them to their students and put them on a show. So there's actually a Cobra Commander from G.I. Joe. There's the Revolting Blob from Billy Madison. Right. Uh, there's Little Teen Mac, Wolf. Teen Wolf, Little Mac from Mike Dyson's Punch-Out. And it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's it's potentially like it's the worst it's, thing ever. It's, so yeah. there's this guy who obviously became very popular, yep. and he was um, pushed to the to the front of the line, yeah. and he was given his a title opportunity, and they made him the world champion of their he, he, company. Here's correct? the thing: other than like Starman from an old Nintendo video game called Pro Wrestling, there everyone else is kind of like a joke, funny. Yo, haha, this is meant to be funny gimmick, except for Bonesaw. So Bonesaw was getting what? Like cheered like yeah. crazy. Bonesaw. They were going nuts for him. Yeah. The fans And loved him. this guy, and his real name is Michael Dennis. Michael Dennis. I mean, he has potential. He looks like a great wrestler. He's, yeah. yeah. He's great. He's, he's he really good. He's great. Yeah. 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 Um, so the story begins with uh, me and my partner, Dominic, who is not here today, unfortunately. Uh, we went to our first show. With it for this company, and this bone saw guy comes out and he has a chainsaw and he's flipping people off in the crowd. Some people are cheering, but uh, me and Dominic didn't really know how to handle the situation, so we started heckling the guy. So somewhere else in the arena, John, or in the so- I was there. I was at the field. show. You were I sitting like three yeah. rows behind us. This I is didn't right even know. This met. is before I knew. Wait, was that day two actually- or day one? It was day one. Oh, uh, yeah. So I yeah. was actually sitting three rows Where behind you, you then, okay. too, with John Carlo. Oh, yeah. Dave was with me. And okay. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. Um, so we started heckling the guy, and he didn't take too kindly to that. He actually kind of pointed us out in the crowd and told us to, to shut up and all this stuff. Because that's what's awesome about these shows. When you go to like a WWE show, and you're like, yeah, you suck, John Cena. He doesn't turn around, and he doesn't like acknowledge you. Same thing like when I was younger. I went to the Yankees game, and I was like, yeah. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. <laughs> Saturday, and like he didn't turn around because yeah. they don't do There's that. Yeah. At when these you're... shows, they interact with you. When yeah. you're in like yeah. Madison Square Garden, you can't hear the right. idiot in the five hundredth row who's yelling "F you, Cena." Yeah. yeah. Or whatever the case. Or whatever is. it is. Um, but in this little gymnasium when there's like 300 people, uh, they'll hear you. And you're a part of the show. Let's yes. put it that way. Right? Yeah, like the fans are definitely a part of the show. The, yeah. the, like the, the if they weren't then, they are now. The wrestlers are, you know, um, in the intermission and before the show, they're like selling pictures with themselves and autographs and yeah. t-shirts and yeah. stuff. Like you can go talk to them. Yeah. It's, yeah. And they'll, it's they'll very be nice much more you. personable. I mean, nobody's really a dick. Can I curse? Yeah, please. All right, I swear. Nobody's a fucking curse. dick. I probably, there you go, Dave. I probably swear. Relax, Dave. Um, so. uh, yeah, I know. I got a little fired up. Yeah, I had to bring Regina but, back for that one. Yeah. Uh, I think I cursed on maybe four times tonight. I'm going to try and top Only that. Only four. Um, so anyway, we started heckling this guy, and he uh, didn't take too kindly to it. And that's when we figured out that we were supposed to cheer him. Basically... That was it. That was like the start of it. That was the start this of it. This was yeah. last year, though. This was, this was like this two was years ago. Like WrestleMania 29 yeah, time. It's okay, so two we years ago, podcast. right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, something like that. Um, but since that time, what happened? Like, I met you. Um, well, we met the next night, actually. Yeah, so we you, were, you, you were producing something called MMPR. Right. I emailed you. Right, you did. And I said, hey, I want to know about this. Like, tell me about it. And yeah. then I always use the podcast, like, sometimes as like a chance to meet somebody or whatnot. And, right. And then you guys came over and... Yeah, we you just sat down and BS for an hour yeah. or so. And, yeah, uh, we did the podcast and then and then we started going to wrestling shows together. Yeah, and then and we, then we ended out. up like we ended up going to like L.A. Yeah, like, no, we, we went it, there with I Dom. think it's really funny that yeah. uh, this podcast kind of brought us together. And now we got like a real friendship out of it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. No, yeah. I, honestly, that's I no, think it's that's, like really cool. Like, one of the well, I don't really want to talk too much about MNPR, but one of the things that I really like about you know what I did with that project was that I was able to meet so many people. Um, in different areas, and like you know, I, I have more friends out of it than I did beforehand. So, and That's you're awesome. one of them. Yeah. yeah. One of the other funny things too is Dave I think. Too. Yeah, we were all right. Yeah. Yeah, we were it's cool. all right. Yeah. yeah. Um, one of the other funny things too is that like we were. I think I was the episode after them. So, it's okay. it's kind of weird how. Like six you're sitting here. Maybe, all, maybe know, like, can you switch seats? I think that would be a better order then. Why would you? No, no. he's after. Maybe you. Never mind. I'm just no, kidding. No, all right. So yeah. hey, basically, um, anyway. back to the bone saw guy. Right. Basically, um, we started going in February, right? February yeah. was. The we first started one. going to Where the we shows, and we stood up, and like it was obviously clear everyone was cheering him. 
Everyone yeah. really liked him except for us. And yeah. we started yeah. giving him the finger. And there's we like, started telling him he sucked. There was start, yeah. I remember the one in February. There was this like massive dude. He's either related to him or his buddy or something just over in another section who looks over and is like, "Hey, Fuck you guys! Yeah. So, so, yeah. awesome. so we started noticing that these people like were obviously getting upset over it, and like like that was awesome. Like yeah. I was like, holy shit! This is like, let's just keep going and, back. Let's yeah. see what happens. And at first, so, I'm like, this meathead's gonna kill me. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but, well, that's Dave. I mean, yeah, yeah that's that. And I'm, and I'm standing yeah. next to you, and I'm like, shut up, Dave. We're gonna yeah. we're just gonna keep. And doing eventually, it. And like, no, I was down. like super yeah. stoked. Like, exactly, and it kind of broke you out of your shell, right? A little bit, yeah. In the wrestling world, like fans don't usually have like. Um, promo videos and stuff like that. Yeah. No, so this big event was coming up for, for Bonesaw. Um, he lost his, his title. Yeah. We Which were we very went excited absolutely over that. ballistic over. We went nuts that he lost his title. And um, he it was coming up to Supercard, which was like their big event of the year, right? right. This, this company. Oh, the yeah. so you better come, there. otherwise you're not really a fan. Yeah, so, yeah. so we go because we Other. didn't like that threat. And basically... Yeah. Um, it so became it a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're like, who are these guys? Why yeah. do they they boo? I, yeah. And At this point, what's they were, their deal? They were wondering. Who so we, we showed were. up with t-shirts. Yeah. Yeah. We showed up with t-shirts. We showed up with a whole bunch of props. We had a promo video online. Yeah. The we week had Spider-Man before. We masks. filmed a promo video, which has never been done before by the fans. It, yeah. It, no. It's, it's kind of like what you're seeing. Yeah. yeah Dom right was now. actually the guy who did yeah. had the big yeah. vocal part part other than Jake. It's, it's funny because it's never that I know have been done before. So like. As fans, we've kind of like made our own character and yeah. we became part of the show. Exactly. And um, as, um, as much as fans usually do become part of the show, like we actually became a storyline in yeah, the show. Yeah. Um, so, me, me and Lou went to LA and, and some kid like yeah, stopped kid us, us and was like, he's like, yo, you're the Busaw guys, right? Yeah. I was like, what are you talking <laughs> about? You know who we are? Yeah. It was crazy. Um, but the social experiment of it all, I think, is that. We were just, it was like five of us, I think, or six yeah. of us when we first started, and we were booing this guy. And then slowly but surely, the crowd, people in the crowd started joining with us and booing this guy. Yeah. Um, I remember at one show, uh, two kids came up to us, and they're like, oh, my God, you guys look like you're having so much fun. We're going to come over and, and boo this guy with you. Yeah. And we had little uh, kids coming over like, can we hold the sign? And we're like, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, at this big show in July, um, we had like, 20 25 people just in our section with us wearing these t-shirts and booing this guy and it was we've had people crazy. make signs that are the opposite of what we had the month before yeah. people actually hate us yeah that's what i think there's people we walk yeah. in and people will go like yeah and like turn away they'll stare at us point at and us. when like yeah it's it's kind of weird but yeah. like really hilarious like yeah. how kind of fucking bonkers wrestling fans are mm. oh they're crazy yeah have you guys ever met Bonesaw? Like, has... no, no, there's a no, funny we, story. We, we, well, I, I don't want to discuss that. that. I think that should we, that should say completely. Yeah, that's okay. K Yeah, yeah, K-fib. We'll fabe it. Yeah, we'll tell, you, we'll go, tell so. you after the show's over. Yeah. Um, yeah, and now we're going into another show, December twentieth, and we're putting the band back together, and it's gonna be a big show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and like, it's... you guys need a wrestling manager. I know a guy named General General Jim will help you out. If you want <laughs> General General Jim. General 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 Janitor Jim. <laughs> um, oh, the toilet paper, too. We throw toilet paper at yeah, this guy. So, yeah, so when we show so, up, we brought tw- 24 rolls of toilet paper last month, and we just chuck them at him. Yeah. We try to actually like hit him with them. Here's, here's sometimes where the he gimmick, catches them, and he throws them out. Go ahead. Here's where the gimmick comes from, though. Like in It's... In Japan and at you know independent wrestling, it's like really cool to when you have a wrestler that you're a big fan of, you throw streamers either just in general or in the colors of his ring garb. So we decided, fuck this guy, we're gonna throw toilet paper and diapers yeah. at him. Yeah. <laughs> He's not a fan. Yeah, he was not a fan. Um, no, so and, like he always tries to throw them back at John Carlo and always yeah. hits yeah. some poor kid in the head. Like yeah. it's great. Yeah. I, I wonder what this guy th- like. He had all these fans, and then one day a bunch of people just started yeah. booing him. And, <laughs> and we really changed. Like the we, 
the lining of his career. Like the road he was on. Well, has yeah, been I mean, changed. to the point now, where now he's a bad guy. Yeah, he's to the bad point guy where now, he's he turned guy. into a bad guy last show and said, yeah. and was like yelling, "This is your fault." I don't even know why we're you showing up now. This. Yeah, I don't even know why we're showing up now that he's a bad guy. Yeah. Well, after December, we'll see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> this is a big show. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Right. Yeah, well, that, the that was always the plan, but we have passed that at this point. Yeah, fuck. So I want to just, I just want to say thank you, you two. Um, I want to say, you know, like. This is a, like Fucking a really nerdy saw. thing that kind of brought us together. Super nerdy. And, yeah, um, we do do things like, outside of wrestling. I, know, um, I, I showed I showed this to one, I showed the video to one of my friends. I was like, "Yo, look at check out what we do." And we got our own my um my friend goes, "Well, some people have hobbies." Yeah, I guess you guys are. That's so what we do once a yeah. month. I know. They dress up in spandex and we just come and heckle them. Well, like you said, the one time we have this like group chat that we do the one time um blue goes yeah, you, you do realize about. we're grown men who go and we are the boo saw movement and yeah. this guy's name is bone saw yeah i think yeah just one like day i had like i looked i really looked at it and i was like this is like the stupidest thing <laughs> it really is borderline yeah, that we, ludicrous. yeah that we we're doing but it's great it's so much fun yeah and if anybody's free december 20th <laughs> yeah, if anyone i suggest we all go up to raw if anyone yeah. wants to yeah. Boo saw. If you thought this was great, no, just kidding. All right. So if you right. think we're a laugh riot now, just wait till we get to Rahway. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you. I wish Dom was here, but I know I wish yeah, Dom was here. Cool. I know, I know he the, wishes the he was here us, too. But, uh, but he's, I, off, he's off doing really cool. Yeah, shit, he's in the Grand Canyon right now shooting a, a feature. Um, but outside, uh, yeah. But outside <laughs> of the. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Oh, wait, wait. Outside of the Bushaw movement, just want to say congratulations. 100 yeah, episodes. congratulations you, on 100. I mean, thank you. It's been I always, a pleasure to be a part of it. Yeah, I'm sure you've been on plenty of episodes. And I always feel like I, I'm always telling you about how uh, talented you are. And this is really a, a milestone for you. Congratulations. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, dude. It was really kind of cool even to kind of help out where I've been able to help out and kind of give advice where need be, like... And I've been really proud of some of the stuff you did, like especially the Cabana episode. That yeah. thing was. Regina as a keeps sending of yours, me pictures of the show, just so you know. As a friend of yours, that <laughs> made, that made me super like proud. Here. Like I'm not here. Say it again. You keep sending pictures of, of the show to him of what yeah. he's doing right so, now. What's a big deal, with Regina? What? He's busy. I don't really. He's hosting. Care. He's actually here. Yeah. And I'm the You're the co-host. <laughs> No, I mean, well, you know, no, uh-huh. we're all guests, and he, at the end, he doesn't care. I think we six, should let Regina. Six images, go Regina. Oh, we'll tomorrow, <laughs> all right, that's all right. That's but all right. Yes, thank you guys. I'm super oh, proud. Thank you. Anyway. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. I guess. Does anybody have any questions? Any any Q and A or anything like that? Anything? Sure. How is this going to go? I always ask you this. this is yeah. Be a video show. Is this going to be a video show? Audio. This is going to be a full, actually a full-blown show. Yeah. Really? Well, you, you've already, already watched it, and, and you've gotten to this point. Wow. What is the future of the show? What's the future of the show? Um, I don't know the future of the show. I think I'm just going to keep on doing it, right? I think I'm going to go to 101 and hopefully 102, and I hope to have like see you guys again and to be able to do this again. There's some people here that I, I haven't even got a chance to talk to yet on the show. Oh, hey, what's going on? Hey, hey. Did you really get another $100 worth of pizza, huh? Yeah, so I do still have a $100 gift card. I was going to use it tonight, but my mom did put together all this awesome food. Um, she's like the producer of the show tonight. Um, also, another person that had a great hand in putting this together was Chris Monsanto. He's standing right over there, killing it right now. Thank you, guys. Really, honestly, like you guys are my... You guys are my closest friends and whatnot and I couldn't have done this without you you know yeah yeah sure I just wanted to say congratulations thank you mom thank you nice come on she's thank you. pretty you're not on behalf of the is this mine thank you this is so heavy no. dig it Pure yeah. Hopefully, this Far is the first of many. Um, for hope this award is first of many that you will receive. I hope not for this podcast, right? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Tannis. Well, I hope you have many more hundreds of things, and maybe you'll even live to be a hundred. 
That was awkward for me standing that close to you like that. That was like the weirdest. Tannis? <laughs> okay. All right. So, Kyle, how, how is the how's the online dating? Online dating is going just fine. Thank you. Yeah, it's the most downloaded of all time. Exactly. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. The most downloaded episode actually is um, uh, a guy, Matthew Silver, actually, which is, is pretty interesting. So um, he's the wackadoodle in New York City. Yeah. Okay, so so Regina had a... Yeah, okay. Guys, so Regina had a legitimate question to me. So there's something that's been... Um, she wanted to know when I'm c- going to California. Hello? Oh, shit. Wait, hold on. Are you Mr. John Carlo Hidema? Are you being served? Yeah. Is this a legal document? I can't find Being served. <laughs> is, this, is this real? Yes. It's a pot. Yes. <laughs> it's a pizza. It's for jury. Should have let him in. You're being served for pizza. Call number on the document. Thank you. Who serves this late at night? It looks like um, looks like this is the last episode of Pop Cultivation. Why? No. 